Okay, gentlemen. So today, inshallah, we are going to start chapter number five. It is about uh, uh, presidency networks. <laughs> so, uh, uh, gentlemen, uh, uh, my dear engineers and students, uh, as you know, you know, you have, you need to understand that uh, I have the, the original knowledge uh, about these these things. Uh, you know, with, with a lot of experience. Uh, so in although my my accent because i have my master and a phd master from thailand and then phd from china so english accent is a, is not like a, you know american or western but you need to read uh, you know listen my uh, my lectures carefully to understand because what i want to let you know that i have the original knowledge with the experience uh, that i am going to share with you okay so in this uh, chapter, um, actually, President's Network, uh, you will see a lot of new things uh, because uh, before you have the you know, experience that uh, the whole activity is critical. You know? In President's Diagram, you will see that sometime there will be just a start of the activity is critical or sometime just finish point uh, of the activity will be critical. Okay? And sometime the whole activity will be critical. So you, know, you will learn about the uh, president's uh, diagram in detail, uh, how the president's diagram are going to work. Uh, but before starting uh, in detail, so allow me to say, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulullah, Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassar li amri wa ahlul uqtata min lisani yafqa qawli. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu to each one of you. So my dear students and uh, fellow engineers, uh, we are going to study here today uh, chapter number five uh, uh, from the book uh, is uh, uh, construction planning and scheduling. Uh, so today's topic is uh, precedence networks. Okay, precedence uh, networks. Uh, so let uh, with this uh, start. We will move forward, inshallah. Uh, forward, uh, <coughs> So, residents uh, network. Uh, so today's lecture, you need to listen it very carefully, you know, to understand this uh, about uh, residents diagrams uh, or how we calculate the uh, activities when they are contiguous or when they are uh, interruptible activities. Uh, so how the, we are going to uh, see the uh, critical parts uh, of those activities, you know. So let's see President's network with the start with the simple, simple things. Sir. So President's diagrams method, okay, CDM, President's diagramming method uses node diagram with four types of logical relationship. Okay, so node before we were just having one relationship, no finish to start. Okay, so now we are going to have four relationship. One relationship is called finish to start relationship. That will be like a default relationship in Pramavira. And this relationship is mostly used or overused, you know, so that uh, you, are, you have seen all the uh, diagram in the previous chapters, uh, we were using this relationship that one activity have finished, then the, the next activity has started. But now in this, we will be using four relationship, uh, start to start, okay? We will do it with SS, start to start, uh, or finish to finish, okay? Finish to finish. So often uh, these uh, two relationships, uh, they are used in combination, okay? For one activity, both relationship uh, we are going to use, and uh, then we are going to follow the driving relationship. Uh, you will see how the driving relationship uh, we are going to follow. Then the uh, last one is a uh, start to finish. Start to finish. Uh, so this is hardly or uh, rarely used uh, relationship, uh, or probably never used. Uh, you know. So, but uh, um, it's uh, a start to finish relationship. Okay. So no, no this uh, uh, president's network. It was first introduced by Professor John uh, Fundel of Stanford University in 1961. So from this, you can see it's not very, very old uh, uh, presidents uh, network uh, that uh, Pramavira is going to use. Uh, so these are, uh, is the first introduced by Professor John Fundal uh, uh, of Stanford University in 1961. So presidents uh, network uh, <clears throat> incorporates uh, 
now what we have seen that four relationship then they incorporate lag time and lead times okay so they will be uh, there will be overlapping activities uh, in these relation overlapping activities you will see the in the next uh, slides uh, what are the overlapping activities so cpm calculations are somewhat different for, uh, and more complicated than those in regular networks the cpm calculations uh, for uh, Residence network, they are more complicated and different than what we have seen before. So now you should be careful, you know, to, to study this. Activities may be contiguous or interruptible. Okay, so whatever we were doing before, this all the activities we were assuming they are contiguous. Okay, so we will explain this <coughs> what are contiguous and interruptible activities in this chapter inshallah in detail crude calculation take a different approach okay, particularly with interruptible activities okay so like finding out total float and free float uh, it's entirely different uh, in this uh, uh, when we are dealing with the interruptible activities okay so you will see inshallah in this le uh, lecture uh, these things will be clear to you so contiguous activities this you have uh, you have been doing before so whatever we have been doing before in the node diagram or error diagram so you know we were dealing with the contiguous activities so what was the meaning is that once an activity starts it has to continue until it is finished once an activity starts it has to continue until it is finished okay so then it means uh, uh, that uh, total float was uh, equal to um, late start minus early start or total float was equal to late finish minus early finish okay so this is the, this was the way that we were calculating total float for the contiguous activities you know so all previous uh, lectures uh, previous chapters we have covered with the contiguous activities okay and total float was uh, we were calculating this way you know but in this chapter so we will use uh, some different things okay? so be careful now interruptible activities interruptible activities have a longer planned duration than the established original duration estimate so no interruptible activities means that some activity have started and then they, there is a break okay stop okay then that activity have stopped and then after some time we come back and resume that activity okay, this is interruptible okay, so okay, so uh, that activity have uh, started at certain time and then there is a gap okay so usually you know now you can see on site uh, the things happen like this way you know that we have uh, started an activity and then sometime uh, there is a, a break or some problem uh, so we have to think about uh, so then we a couple of days we don't work on that activity and then we come back we resume our work on that activity so practically on site uh, is uh, many activities are like happening as a interruptible activities so the float value calculated using start dates is different than the float value calculated using finish date so because there is a there is a, a stop time you know it means a, a duration uh, you see is the, the above formula for total float like late late start minus early start will not be applicable okay. so a similarly late finish minus early finish will not be applicable okay. if the duration uh, so the float will give different values okay float values calculated using start dates uh, is different than the float values calculated using finish date Okay, so you will see that uh, when there is an interruptible, so then these uh, uh, total float uh, uh, not applicable as we were used to calculate before. Okay. And similarly, the critical path will also be different. You know, as before we were having that always continuous path, uh, critical path, and then there is a you know just a whole activity is critical or a whole activity is not critical. But here we will see you will see that just the starting point is critical okay and rest of the activity is not critical and for some activity just the finish point is critical but before the activity whole activity is not critical you know? so there will be like complicated things uh, for the uh, critical path okay? so you need to listen carefully and pay attention carefully then you will understand these things inshallah 
but let's see here, the thing will be simple, you know, don't worry, you know. So precedence network, uh, we are uh, then, now we just want to uh, clarify what is dangling uh, activities. Dangling activities are loosely tied activities in the project schedule. Okay? They are loosely tied activities in the product, project schedule. They, they are activities with either open start dates or open finish dates. Okay? So it means that these activities, uh, there will be like, uh, there is no uh, predecessor for those activities or there is uh, no successor for these uh, activities. So then uh, those activities, there, uh, if there is a no predecessor, there is no previous activity, it's not dependent on the, any other previous activity or it is not uh, dependent on the um, uh, successor activity. So there is no successor activity for this. Uh, it means that we can finish it until the project finish date. So this is like we call it dangling activities. Okay, dangling activities. Now let's move. All activities except the first activity of a network. All activities except the first activity of a network need to have a predecessor. So see, first activity without uh, first activity, you know, all other activities there is always a predecessor. Okay. Otherwise, they will have uh, open start date. If we don't uh, like for any activity, if there is no predecessor, it means uh, the start is same as like the first activity. You know? Okay, so it's uh, that activity will have a open start date. Okay, starting point will be that we can start that activity from very beginning. So dangling activities are tied from one end only. Okay, then the activities, as we said, that there is only they are tied from one end only, other end is free. Okay, so it means either there is a no predecessor or for the activity, or there is a no successor for the activity. Okay. If there is no predecessor, it means uh, starting of time that activity we can start with the start of the first activity. Or for uh, if there is a no uh, successor activity, it means finish time will also be like the project finish date. Okay. So now we are going to clarify that what are the overlapping activities. So they are like a, look like a ladder type steps type activities. Uh, like here, uh, this uh, example they are putting that uh, there is a these are overlapping activities. The, they look like a ladder shape uh, steps. Uh, uh, so it's like uh, um, you know all linear projects uh, have these kind of activities. Uh, if the linear, when I say linear projects, maybe it means the uh, construction of a gas pipeline, construction of a water supply line, construction of a railway line, construction of a road. So uh, the, any linear project, construction of a sewage line, water supply line, okay, oil pipeline, gas pipeline. So all these are uh, linear projects. So what we do is uh, usually practically, we don't excavate the whole 100 kilometer of that line and then we start laying the pipe. Okay? We don't do like this way. So we do just maybe excavate a 50 meter part of the excavation and then we start laying the pipe. Um, so in this example, they are putting that, okay, there is an excavation one and then um, there is an excavation two. Okay? So in the equation one, we put the subway base. It's like, uh, then we have to put a pipe one. So in uh, over the subways, it's like a trench. Uh, you have done a expression for the trench. Uh, and then you put a subways, mean it's like a cushion for the pipe. A sand, sand cushion, uh, some uh, sand bed uh, for the pipe one. Okay. So then there is a equation two. Uh, we, First, let's say we uh, excavated 50 meter, and then we excavated two. We excavated 50 meter, then we put the sub base two, and then uh, like it's a sand cushion, uh, sand bed uh, below the pipe. So then we mm, to make it level, you know, so that there should not be stresses on the pipe uh, to make it uh, that stresses will apply when we do the backfilling equally on the pipe. So we put the sand cushion or we call it a sub base, okay, sub base one, sub base two, and then we put the pipe two, okay. Similarly, there is the X question three, and then we put in that part uh, of the X question, we put the sand bed there, so it's sub base three, and then pipe three, okay. 
So once uh, we put the pipe, then we do backfill that trench. Okay, so there is a backfilling one. Similarly, there will be backfilling two and backfilling three. Okay, so do the compaction uh, one and compaction two. Okay, so this is like uh, all the activities for the uh, for a linear project. Uh, uh, it uh, look like they are ladder type activities. So they are overlapping, you know, overlapping activities. Uh, uh, they are overlapping. So uh, with this, let's move forward with the learning precedence network through simple examples. Okay, now we are going to learn uh, uh, precedence uh, diagrams uh, or networks uh, through simple examples. Okay? So we will do what we were used to do before. We start with those things and then we will see inshallah other things. We first assume that all the activities are contiguous. Contiguous, once an activity starts, it has to continue until it is finished. So this is our assumption, you know, before when we were dealing with the contiguous activities. Yeah. Then this assumption makes calculation easier. Okay, so it means there is no uh, gap or that we have not stopped that activity. Then uh, later on, we will revisit the examples with interruptible activities. Okay, so we will just see the contiguous uh, activities. And then we will revisit those examples with the assuming there is an interruptible activities. Okay. So you need to be very careful to decide, you know, how the things look like uh, with the simple, simple examples. Like there is a start to start relationship. You now we are going to, because as we said in the precedence diagram, we are using four types of relationship. Okay. So now we are using in this one start to start relationship with no lags. Okay. So activity A duration is 10 days, activity B duration is five days, activity C duration is three days. Okay. So now when we do the forward pass, when we do the forward pass uh, for A, it comes uh, zero to 10. And then um, for B, uh, for B, so we have to follow the path, okay, from starting point, uh, from the starting point, it will go from here uh, as in zero, zero here, zero plus five. And then zero will come here as zero plus uh, duration three. Now you see now the activity A will take 10 days to finish here, B will take five days and C will take three days. Okay, So it means you now we have like, uh, what is the project um, maximum for these, uh, this uh, simple network, uh, what is the uh, project uh, uh, duration? Because forward pass will give us the project duration, okay? The project duration is 10 days. Okay, now we can start with, uh, with this uh, uh, 10 days uh, maximum duration. So 10 minus uh, 3 is 7. Then for this one also 10 minus 5 is 5. So 10 minus 10 is 0. So this is our backward pass. Okay, our backward pass for this activity. Now where is uh, you know we will see that how the how the look, look like the critical uh, path. So we see that uh, the only activity A, uh, activity A is critical. Okay. So B is uh, is not critical from zero to from five and five to ten. So there is a lag time is available with us. Uh, and similarly for um, C is three days duration, zero to three or seven to ten. So there is a uh, you know uh, uh, lag is available. So now. Or the uh, computer understand these activities. The uh, computer understand that activity A is critical. Okay, so activity B is not uh, not critical, and there is a um, float uh, available. Uh, you know, is 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 shown like there is a activity in B. So if we go with the with the early start, early finish, uh, it's a zero to five, okay? and similarly zero to three. So then that says that. Uh, float, but we can finish uh, until then, so it's uh, the float time. So, but activity A is uh, critical, you know, in this diagram is important. Now with the same, uh, what we are going to, we are using those relationship in these diagram. So star to star relationship with lag time. Okay, this time we, relationship is uh, what we are going to study. Uh, star to star relationship uh, with the uh, lag time. So there is a activity A, and then there is six days lag, and then it's uh, from uh, start to start. Okay, connection is from start to start to B, and then from B to uh, start. We follow the link uh, start to start, but one day lag. Okay, so it's connected with C. Okay, 
So we will do the forward pass. Forward pass is when we start from A, it's a 0 to 10. Okay. So now 0 plus this lag time 6, so 6 will come here, plus 5 days duration, it will be 11. Okay. Then we start from 6 uh, here, plus 1, so it will be uh, 7. Okay. 6 plus 1 is 7. So for C, start time is a forward pass is 7 plus uh, duration 3, 10. So 7 plus 3 is 10. So now how much is the project uh, duration is 11 days. Okay. The, for, for activity is 0 to 10, for B is 6 to 11, for C is uh, 7 to 10. So maximum duration is 11 days. So it means uh, we need uh, this project will take 11 days to finish. So we start with 11. So 11 minus 3 is 8. Then we uh, go back with the with the skeleton this uh, you know um, path so eight minus uh, uh, one one uh, so it will be uh, uh, so here we have uh, finished finish time is 11 so 11 minus 5 is uh, so for this also uh, like finish time will be 11 minus 5 is 6 uh, and then we have for this one is uh, uh, you know when we go uh, like uh, from from this uh, uh, six uh, six minus uh, uh, six is uh, zero, so we go um, plus ten is uh, so we got a finished date for uh, uh, for activity is ten. Okay. So uh, how the president's uh, diagram uh, look like now when, how, when we do the um, total float, uh, so total float for A is zero and for B is also six minus six is, uh, is zero. So these uh, two activities become critical. Okay, two activities uh, A and B become critical, but uh, the C is not uh, critical. How the computer uh, uh, understand this one? Uh, that activity A from zero to ten days is uh, critical. Okay, then activity B is from six to eleven is critical. Six to eleven is uh, critical. For C is uh, for C is like uh, seven to ten. So it means day number day number working day number eight, nine, and ten. So the duration is three days. So working day number eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So then it's uh, with the finish uh, duration is eleven days. So there is a one day float here uh, for uh, for C. Okay. One day uh, float is available for uh, for activity C. Now we move forward with the with, um, so what we study before is a uh, start to start relationship with no lag and start to start relationship with the okay. and then we now we are going to study relationship uh, we are going to apply finish to finish relationship uh, with no lags okay. finish to finish relationship uh, with the with no lag so we start with the um, A, so uh, it's uh, starting point is zero plus duration for A is 10, so plus 10. So then we follow this path. So it means uh, here is a, uh, for B is uh, also duration is 12 days, okay? So we put a starting point for B is zero plus 12, okay? So it means this is a 10, uh, finish to finish a 10 is not governing, okay? So not driving, okay? And uh, so what we will get uh, the duration for B is 12, so it will be 0 to 12. Okay. Then from the finish point is uh, 12, uh, so we take here uh, this, uh, um, follow the path, uh, it will come 12 here. So 12 minus 3 is uh, 9. Okay. 12 minus 3 is, uh, is 9. So now we can see the forward pass is 0 to 10, 0 to 12, 9 to 12. Okay. For this uh, simple network. Uh, 9 to 12, so 12 days is the project duration. 12 maximum is the 12 days is the project duration. Now we do the backward pass with 12. So 12 is here, minus 3 is 9. We follow the path, this uh, edge is uh, from, from C is 12. So 12 will come here, 12 minus 12 is 0. And then from here, we bring the 12 here, 12 minus 10 is uh, 2. Okay. So this is like the backward pass, uh, what we got. Uh, so it means activity A is not critical. Okay? Activity A is not critical, but B and C, they are 
they are critical okay b and c 0 to 12 days they are they are critical so activity a is duration is 10 days so it means this is not critical there is a two days lag available but um, activity b 0 to 12 so this is the maximum duration of the project uh, project duration and then activity c also is uh, is critical 9 to 12 uh, so just uh, they have to work for uh, for three days okay? so the backward pass the forward pass and backward pass then we find the total float so total float where we have the like zero total float then those activities are on critical path okay? so here <clears throat> The critical path for this network is uh, that activity B is critical and C is critical. So what we study the finish to finish relationship with no lags. Okay, now we will see that uh, next is a uh, finish to finish relationship with lag time. Okay. Finish to finish relationship uh, with the lag time. So um, let's see with the um, you know simple network uh, finish. So we are using finish to finish relationship, but there is a lag time also available. So like for A activity A duration is 10 days. Then it means starting is with time zero, zero plus uh, uh, duration is 10. Then we follow the path. We follow the path 10 plus three days lag. It means finish point for B is will be 30, okay? 30 minus 12 is one, okay, and then we follow this path, 13 plus one here. So then we uh, came to C is a finish point is uh, 14, 13 plus one day lag. And if we start with the finish point uh, from B, so 13 plus one, so we've got, uh, uh, you know, forward pass for C is 14 minus uh, uh, and duration for activity C. So 14 minus three, is 11 okay so now you can see the forward pass will give us the project duration 0 to 10 1 to 3 11 to 14 so 14 days is the project duration okay, finish time 14 days so we start with that 14 minus 3 is 11 then from we follow the path 14 minus 1 so then we come when we come to b it will be 13 okay 13 minus 12 is 1 so then from the finish point we go back uh, uh, 13 minus 3. Okay, so we got 10 here. 10 minus 10 is a so um, backward pass for uh, activity A is uh, 0 to 10. Okay. So now you can see this. Uh, this is uh, uh, you know, activity um, uh, uh, A is uh, activity A is critical. A is critical. The duration is uh, 10 days for. 10 days and B is uh, critical from 1 to 13, okay? B is critical from 1 to 13. So then C is critical from 11 to uh, 12, 11 to 14, 11 to 14 days. 11 to 14. So all three activities are uh, critical, you know, with the, when we have the finish to finish relationship with lag time also, okay? So all three activities uh, are critical. So, so we, we have seen that finish to finish relationship with the uh, with lag time. So all three activities are uh, critical in this uh, uh, situation. So now let's move forward with the uh, uh, um, lag examples. So lag uh, that um, they are going to explain like here we have a clear uh, clearing and grabbing. Okay. So we have to, you know, if we want to build a road on a, in the desert, eh? so first we have to level the ground or, or remove those, uh, if there are bushes or something, you know, a tree or something on the right of way. So we have to we call it activity clear and grabbing. So 10 days, then start to start uh, excavate for footing. Okay, so excavate for footing, the three days lag. Okay, so it means the excavation of footing will start uh, Three days after, uh, uh, you know, the starting of the clearing and grabbing uh, uh, operation. So now, uh, in the second situation, we have clearing and grabbing ten days. Then minus seven, minus seven, uh, seven days is the lead time. Okay, lead time. So it means that the next activity will start uh, uh, ten minus uh, seven. So after three days. Okay. Excavate for footing. Okay, then we excavate for footing uh, six days duration. Then the third is clearing and grabbing ten days duration. 
So finish to finish relationship with minus one day lag. Okay. Finish to finish relationship with minus one day lag. So this is uh, like uh, x squared for footing is uh, six days. So now all these three situation, you know, clearing and grabbing is 10 days, x squared for footing is six days. Okay. Then what we put uh, three relations. One relationship is uh, uh, start to start uh, with three days lag. Okay. Another relationship is finish to start. Minus seven days lead time, minus seven days lead. And then finish to in the next diagram is finish to finish point. Uh, the relationship is finish to finish, but uh, minus one day lead time, okay? Minus one day lead time. So it means all these three activities, uh, all these three activities uh, will be giving the, like uh, uh, in this example, the successor is dependent on the predecessor. Okay? So all the successor activity is dependent on the previous activity. Now all the activities look like uh, as in give the same situation, explain the same situation. So, but it will be the, up to the uh, project uh, scheduler or planning engineer, the way they want to, uh, you know, use uh, the relationship uh, for this kind of activity. Okay? Because uh, all the, is uh, you know clearing and grubbing in this diagram also there is a 10 days clearing and grubbing x squared for putting six days so same in the, in in every node but the relationship make difference okay but the schedule will be same for each one so like the first activity starting after three days lag and then when we say finish to start so it means minus seven so it means uh, uh, next activity will start uh, after day number three. So 10 minus seven is, uh, so, so we got three. So after three days, uh, uh, you know, from finishing out the first, we can start the next activity. Uh, starting after the first activity, after three days, second activity will start. So similarly, finish to finish, okay? So it means when clearing and grabbing will finish, uh, expression will also finish, but uh, minus one day. Okay. So it's in the same situation, uh, like uh, you know, for this, uh, uh, is, uh, it will be have uh, clearing and grabbing and then expression. Okay. So clearing and grabbing is 10 days and expression is uh, six days. Okay. So this uh, uh, um, combination, okay, so what we said in the beginning that uh, when we use these four types of relationship, usually when we use start to start relationship and finish to finish, we use them in combination. We use them in, the, in, in combination. Uh, so mm, mm, combination uh, relationship uh, start to start, uh, um, finish to finish relationship with combination relationship uh, the forward pass yields two different finish dates. Okay, the forward pass uh, uh, yield two different uh, uh, finish dates because one will be from start to start, other will be from finish to finish. Okay, and then we have to see which will be the driving relationship. Okay, so one resulting from the start to start and the other one resulting from the finish to finish relationship. Okay, so there will be uh, two different uh, finish dates uh, we will get uh, by using this combination relationship. So um, one we will get with the start to start and the other one we will get with the finish to finish relationship, okay? So the relationship with, with the driving date is accepted. So in this case, uh, uh, we will check both uh, link uh, start to start and finish to finish uh, and then we will follow the driving relationship, okay? That may justify the uh, diagram. So the same argument applies to the backward pass in reverse order. Okay? So same with uh, driving relationship and we using a uh, start to start and finish to finish uh, these relationship in combinations. Uh, so we have to see what is the driving relationship. Okay, it means uh, what which way the critical path will move. Okay, so we will follow the same thing, uh, but uh, in the backward pass also, but uh, in the reverse order. Okay, mm, so. When we move forward, so we use the highest, okay? When we come back, we use the lowest. Uh, when we do the backward pass, we use the lowest uh, times, okay? So with the, with, with the example, things will be clear to you, inshallah. Okay, let's see the examples. Uh, with the uh, start to start and finish to finish relationship. So let's take example one. So it's uh, activity A is the duration is 10 days, activity B duration is six days, activity C duration is three days. 
so there is a start to start relationship is given two days lag and finish to finish relationship is given so now we see the activity a we do let's do the forward pass first so activity a is 0 to 10 okay 0 to 10 so starting time is zero plus the duration of a is 10 then we follow the path zero plus two and then we we follow the other path is finish to finish okay so this activity a finish at 10 so 10 up here at the finish point minus this uh, uh, six uh, duration for b so minus six so we got four okay so 10 minus six we got four so it means early start uh, for b will be four and early finish will be 10. Okay. so this is like uh, uh, from the other side uh, we will get a uh, two plus uh, six eight okay but we have to take the maximum you know when we move forward uh, we have to take the maximum so, so driver relationship is the is is the this red one. It means it's a finish to finish relationship become the driving. Okay. So now see here in the from B, we will follow this path four plus three. We got seven here. Four plus three we got seven here. But if we follow the this finish point, so finish to finish ten here. Ten plus one is lag is eleven. So we got 11 minus 3 is 8. So in this case, uh, um, finish to finish relationship to give us the maximum time 11. Okay, uh, and but uh, from the uh, from B to C, uh, start to start relationship, uh, like it would be 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. So it, it is not maximum. You know, so we take the highest when we do the forward pass. Okay, so we got here 11. Now with 11, so here for activity A is 10 days duration, 4 to 10, and for C is 8 to 11. So the maximum duration for this project is 11. Okay, so project duration is 11. Now we will do the backward pass with the 11 as the project finish time. So 11 minus 3, we got 8 here. Okay. Now, if we eight here, so we have two paths to come back to B. Okay, one is start to start, and other is finish to finish. Okay, so from start to start, like here, we have eight minus three. Eight minus three is five. Okay, so this is but from uh, if we follow the finish to finish relationship, uh, then here is uh, C is going to finish on eight eleven. Eleven minus one is ten. So 10 minus uh, uh, 6 is 4. So we got 4, 10. So this this uh, finish to finish relationship become uh, that driving relationship uh, uh, for B. Okay. Then we come back from C to B. So here uh, now from, from B to A, we have to see uh, which relationship is that driving relationship. Okay. So like here we have four minus two is we got two here, but uh, from this side is uh, uh, ten. So from ten we go back and we got here ten. Ten minus ten is uh, zero. Okay. So this this relationship will become a uh, finish to finish uh, will become the critical uh, relationship or uh, driving relationship. So by this way, we now we have activity A is critical, B is critical, and C is also critical. Okay. When we apply this, uh, um, you know, example uh, in the next example is uh, activity A is ten days, B is three days, and C is five days. Okay. So this is uh, another example. So we apply these uh, combination relationship. Uh, uh, start to start, okay. Start, start to start with two days lag, and then finish to finish relationship. Then we have from B to C is a start to start with three days lag, and then we have from B to C is a, uh, you know finish to finish a relationship. Uh, so there is no lag for these these things given. So now we have activity A with ten day duration, B is three days, C is five days. Now we are going to do the forward pass. Okay, forward pass is uh, so it means for A is zero to ten. Okay, the duration. 
then we, um, if we follow this uh, this path, uh, start to start, so zero plus two, so we got two here starting point. But from the other side, we have 10, uh, A is 10, so we put 10 here in the finish point, 10 minus three is seven. Okay? So from the other side, we, we are going to get uh, two plus uh, three, five. So we will take the maximum. So it's a seven, 10 forward pass, okay? forward pass. No, mm, seven, uh, seven plus three is, uh, is 10 here. Okay? But from the other side is uh, uh, 10, this is going to finish on uh, uh, 10. So 10 comes here, but it's, uh, uh, it's 15 is more. So we take uh, and the other relationship, upper one, upper one is relationship uh, that is from star to start with three days lag. Okay? So that's why we got seven plus three is, uh, uh, is 10 plus, Y is 15. So 15 days. Uh, so uh, duration for activity is uh, 10 days. Uh, for B is 10 days. For C is uh, 10 to 15 days. So it means the uh, project duration will be 15 days for this uh, um, network. So now we start with 15. 15 minus 5 is 10 here. When we come back here, so it's not uh, like 15 is not coming here. Uh, 15 minus 3 is 12. Okay, so we uh, but from this side, uh, uh, upper uh, start to start relationship is uh, that uh, this is uh, 10 minus uh, um, 3 is uh, start, uh, 7. 7, uh, 7 plus duration of B is 3 is, uh, is 10. Okay, for B is 10. So now it means the upper relationship will become the driving relationship uh, uh, for uh, between B and C. Okay. And now from uh, backward pass from B to A. So again, we have to check two times two relationship. Uh, one is a, a start to start relationship with two days lag, another is a finish to finish relationship. So when we see finish to finish, this is a for B is going to finish on day 10. So 10 minus, uh, 10 minus, so 10 will come here, 10 minus 10 is zero. Okay. So by this we got zero, but if we take uh, this way is uh, seven minus two, we got the starting point as five. Okay, so we have to take the minimum whenever we are going to do the backward pass. Okay? We, have, we are going to do the backward pass, we use the minimum notation. So from this, uh, you know, uh, total four to zero minus zero, or uh, 10 minus 10, uh, early start, late start, Okay, so early start, late start, seven minus seven will be zero, or 10 minus 10 will be zero, and from, for the next also 10 minus 10 is zero, 15 minus 15 is, is zero, okay? So both uh, the driving relationship, uh, and so it means they look like, uh, you know, total float for activity A is zero, so it's a, A is on critical path, and then B is on critical path, and C is on critical path. So for A is the relationship between a, a finish to start, okay? finish to finish relationship. Finish to finish relationship is the driving relationship. And upper one is the for from B to C is the uh, start to start is the uh, three days lag is the, uh, so seven plus three is 10. So it means uh, this uh, is become the driving relationship. Okay. See how, how we are going to learn all these uh, uh, diagrams. So we put just uh, consume around 15 minutes. Uh, let's move forward, okay, with the next. Uh, um, Examples for a presidential network. Okay, now what we have learned, uh, so we will apply that uh, in the uh, in the network diagram. So this data is given for this example for presidential network. There is activities list is given A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and their duration is given for A, a is four days. B is three days, C is eight days, D is seven days, E is six, and F is three, and G is five. So IP list immediately preceding activities are given. Okay, immediately preceding activities are given.
immediately proceeding like uh, activity A and activity B, there is two immediately proceeding. So it means uh, two activities, they are the uh, starting activities, A and B, they are the starting activities. Uh, and C is after A and D is after A and B and E is after E and F activity is will be after D and G will be after F. Okay? But then they, their relationship is also given. So if there is no relationship, it means finish to start. Okay? Finish to start, uh, that is the def default relationship. Okay? Uh, so if uh, like here star is not mentioned, so it means it is a finish to start a relationship, okay? Default relationship, we don't write, okay? So primarily also like uh, computer program also understand that uh, if a relationship is not mentioned, it is a finish to start, okay? Then lag time is also given, okay? So if lag time is not mentioned, so it means it is zero. Hmm? So like for activity A, lag time is zero, for activity B, lag time is zero. And for C is uh, this is start to start relationship. Okay, so now for C is it is not a finish to start. This is a start to start relationship. So we must have to write. Okay, and this is a two days lag. Okay, then we, uh, next for D is uh, finish to start. We don't need to write, uh, and there is no lag. So for E is uh, again E is uh, after D with a start to start relationship of three days lag. Okay, similarly F is uh, after D with the, uh, there is a finish to finish to start relationship, uh, like default relationship. For G is after F uh, with start to start relationship uh, and two days lag, okay? G again uh, after F, uh, there is also finish to finish relationship. There is a combination relationship okay? uh, for, uh, for G. So now if IP and this list is given, it's very easy for us that we can draw the diagram, okay? You need to keep this page in front of you and then you need you can write the, the next, you can draw the diagram. So here in the diagram that activity A and B, they are the starting activities. So activities C is after A with two days lag, start to start relationship. Activity D is after A and B with the finish to start relationship. Then uh, activity um, you know, E is uh, with the start to uh, start relationship, three days lag. And then activity F is with the finish to start uh, relationship. Uh, so three days duration. Then G is uh, activity G has a uh, two relationship uh, start to start with two days lag and then finish to finish a relationship with the zero lag. So similarly if uh, E is after a uh, D with the uh, start to uh, start relationship. Okay. From uh, then now we have uh, uh, three activities in the space that look like C is there we will join it project finish point and E is at the project finish point and G is at the project finish point. Okay. So once we have this diagram, then we will find the uh, forward pass. So forward pass like here is the project start, uh, the date zero. So zero comes here, zero plus four. We follow this path, two, two plus eight is 10. And then for, uh, for D is, uh, um, let's say for B is a zero to three, because duration is three. So now uh, we follow this path, uh, it will be like what will be the starting point. From A we got four, from B we got three, okay? So we'll use the maximum four. So both A and B will finish, then D will start, okay? So four days plus uh, seven is 11. Okay? And similarly, So similarly for the, for C is, uh, we have from, from, come from this uh, two plus eight is 10. And for E is, uh, so here we have four plus three days lag. So start time for E is seven, seven plus six uh, duration is 13. And for F is uh, like this 11 comes here, 11 plus three is 14. Okay. So now um, when we come to G, so we have two ways, okay? 
The one is that uh, uh, finish point is uh, here is 11, uh, start to start 11 plus 2 is 13, okay? 13 plus 5 is 18. But if we follow the finish to finish 14, so here is we edge is become 14, okay? But we will take the maximum from four pass, so it will be 13 and 8. So uh, 13 and uh, 8, so this relationship uh, start to start will become the driving relationship. Now here, uh, G is going to finish on day 18, E is going to finish on day 13, C is going to finish on day 10. So we take the maximum, so project finish time is 18. So we start with the backward pass with 18. So 18 comes here, 18 minus five is 13. 18 minus five is uh, 13. And uh, uh, similarly, if we do the uh, backward pass, uh, no, yeah, this 18 comes here, 18 minus as 12 for uh, c 18 comes here 18 minus uh, 8 is 10 so now um, from g to f we will come uh, like uh, for g is uh, 18 comes here 18 minus 5 is 13 so for f uh, we have to see both ways you know because there are two where 18 comes here 18 minus 3 will be 15 and the form from the other side is uh, uh, here is 13 13 minus 2 is uh, 11 11 plus 3 is 14. So we will take the minimum. And for D, so 11 here, 11 will go back here, or from this side is 12 plus 7. Okay. So this is, uh, uh, we, we come back 12 minus 3, 9. Okay. So 12 minus 3, there is a lag also, 9. So, but we will find the, take the minimum, 11 minus 7 is 4. So then uh, this uh, four will uh, go to under A, then four minus four is zero. And then here also we have four, four comes uh, and here four minus three is uh, one. Okay. So now you have zero here, you have one here, so we have zero here, okay. So now total uh, float is uh, zero for uh, project start time zero. And then A is uh, like here, uh, zero minus zero is uh, A is on critical path. Uh, D is on critical path. Uh, four, um, four minus four is uh, zero, so it's on critical path. F is eleven minus eleven. This is also on critical path. G is thirteen minus thirteen, so this is also on critical path. And then uh, um, project duration. So this is like uh, what we and this is we were doing before also, and we can also find that. Um, you know, for, we have to do, uh, we have done the forward pass, backward pass, and we find the total float. A okay? total float uh, for those activities, uh, like total float for A is zero minus zero is zero, or four minus four is zero. So similarly for D is four minus four or 11 minus 11. So D is on critical. Then we have F 11 minus 11, so or 14 minus 14. So the F is critical and then uh, 13 minus 13, so G is critical and 18 minus 18, so uh, project finish point is uh, like on the critical part. Okay. So here uh, for the others, uh, like, uh, then there is a uh, total four to 10 minus two is eight for, for C and for E is uh, 12 minus seven. Okay. 12 minus seven is uh, um, five. The total float and similarly for B is uh, uh, one minus zero is uh, one. So we have, uh, we have, uh, you know, uh, like critical path is uh, comprises on um, project start time, activity A, then go to D, and then critical path is F, then driving relationship become with this uh, uh, 11 plus 2 is 13. So this, this will be the driving relationship uh, for, uh, for G. Okay. Uh, so because we have two paths, okay, start to start and finish to finish. Between F and activity F and activity G. Okay. So by this way, we have found the total float as zero. So it means these are those activities with zero total float, they are on critical path. Okay? So we have found that critical path. Uh, let's see the practical examples for combination relationship. Okay. So in fact, most situations in construction can be represented by a 
start to start and finish to finish relationship as you have seen in the previous example that we have put this start to start and finish to finish relationship so whenever they use this uh, relationship they use in combinations okay so that in uh, in fact most situation in construction can be represented by a start to start or finish to finish relationship two successive activities with the predecessor two successive activities with the predecessor has to say stay ahead of the predecessors at all times okay so two successive activities uh, like uh, they they should be uh, you know um predecessor they have to stay ahead of the predecessor okay uh, whatever the uh, uh, lag time is given so uh, and like uh, here we have some uh, practical examples uh, for this um, to, that two successive activities with the predecessor have to stay stay ahead of uh, from the predecessor at all the time like trenching uh, so we will do first trenching and then install a pipe okay, inside the trench and um, maybe we add one more activity for setting the cushion or sand bed so then we have a so we have a roof framing first and then we can do the painting work okay so there is a because in usa they they build lot of wooden houses so in those wooden houses we have a roofing and then there is a sheeting that is going to cover the cover that that roof okay Uh, and then uh, after that uh, is insulation or uh, felt uh, f e l t felt uh, like there is uh, uh, insulation and then we put the tiles uh, at the top we call it uh, something we call it shingles okay shingles are tiles so decoration tiles uh, like whenever we have a roof uh, like a slope roof uh, so we have uh, uh, you know about the purlins uh, we have uh, our rafters uh, we have the sheeting and then there is a uh, insulation or there is a uh, felt and then after felt felt or uh, insulation we put this uh, uh, shingles or tiles okay so similarly complete operations uh, we we need to do fix the rebar first uh, and then we will fix the formwork uh, and then we have the concreting and after concreting is the will be the finishing work okay so this is like practical examples for combination relationship okay um, then we have these uh, activities so then they are uh, interdependent uh, uh, so let move uh, uh, next uh, is with the uh, however there are situations where a single start to start or affiliate to finish relationship is sufficient okay so usually we say that a uh, start to start and finish to finish relationship uh, we are going to use uh, mostly in combinations but uh, sometimes it is uh, we we use it separately also okay as you have seen in the previous examples so uh, this is like a, a communication relationship uh, the same we the things we have discussed here we have uh, you know slow proof so we have the rafters uh, okay and and purlins we we know so then is uh, there is a, like uh, for this there is a, a sheeting first and then there is a felt uh, to cover uh, and then we put this uh, like black like shingles or, or red color tiles whatever you color you like so and uh, these will be the shingles so now how the combination ratio activities example they have given uh, uh, for install rafters okay install rafters 5 uh, days uh, then there is a start to start relationship uh, with install sheeting okay install sheeting uh, so uh, about the uh, rafters uh, we install sheeting and uh, then for 3 days uh, and then again uh, start to start relationship and finish to finish relationship okay so there is a uh, install felt install felt or you can say is the insulation okay uh, after the sheeting is insulation then from after felt uh, we start the uh, shingles or the decorative tiles at the top on the slope roof okay so uh, install uh, shingles 
So there is a combination relationship is given okay for the routine project. Keep a minimum one day lag between two, any two activities at all times. Okay. So uh, one day lag. So here uh, because we have put one day lag, uh, that's why the keep one day lag uh, is given, right? Okay. So now when we even do the forward pass for this uh, is zero plus zero is five. Then we go with this uh, relationship is, uh, uh, you know, here is a uh, one. So plus uh, three will be four, but when we go from the finished relationship, uh, there is a five plus one, so end point will become six. A uh, six minus three is three, okay? Six minus three is three. So just like we were doing with the continuous uh, activities. And then from, uh, from install sheeting to install felt, uh, so again, we have start to start relationship and finish to finish relationship, uh, both having one day lag. Okay. So what is the driving relationship is uh, like here, this activity finish on day six, uh, six plus one is seven. Okay, finish point will be seven, minus two is five. Okay, this way we get maximum. But if we go with the start to start, so this means this edge is three plus one is four. Four plus two is will be six. Okay. So this is not the driving relationship. So finish to finish is the driving relationship. Then from install or insulation to install shingles or tiles, decorative tiles, usually they are a red color. You know, if you see a lot of roofs in snowfall areas, they put this kind of roof in slope area so that the snow will, will go down. And not be dead weight or uh, a lot of weight because of the snow in those houses. So we have installed shingles uh, with five days duration. And then from if we follow the relationship uh, from start to start, so five starting point five plus one, we got six here, six plus five is 11. Okay. But from the other side is uh, just seven, seven plus one is uh, will be eight. So this is not the maximum, you know. So when we, we do the do the maximum when we do the uh, follow pass. So now how much is the project duration? 0, 5, 0, 3, 6, uh, 5, 7, and uh, 6, 11. So 11 is the project uh, uh, duration, maximum is the uh, so project duration for this uh, uh, simple project is uh, 11 days. So we start with 11, 11 minus uh, 5 is 6. Then we come back uh, from the this, uh, um, you know, uh, here is six minus five, uh, six minus uh, one day lag, we get, uh, five years, five plus two is seven. Okay? Otherwise, from the other side is we are going to get uh, 11 minus one is 10. Okay? So from upper relationship, uh, start to start, we get seven. So when we come back, uh, you know, for the backward pass, we use the minimum, okay, minimum duration. So we got a five seven. Now from five seven is uh, so end point is uh, seven. So we go back with seven to the install sheeting. So seven minus one is uh, at this point will be six. Uh, six minus three is three. Okay. But from the other side is uh, like here we have five. Five minus one is four. Okay, four plus three is seven. So this is really, this is not the minimum. So we follow the, uh, follow the finish to finish uh, relationship, uh, drive relationship. Then take from install sheeting to uh, install rafters. Uh, uh, so we have again two paths. Uh, one is uh, we have a three. Uh, so is it uh, like we got from here is uh, seven minus one is uh, six. Okay, now six minus three is three. So we have uh, here finish point is six. Uh, so either we got six minus one is uh, five, okay? Six minus one is uh, five, five minus five is zero. Okay? From the other side, uh, you know, we use uh, because, uh, arrow is six minus three is three, which means here is three, three minus one is uh, two, okay? So this will come two plus five is seven, okay? So this this has not been uh, in, the, in the case, uh, or this is not the minimum. So we use the uh, driver relationship is uh, uh, finish to finish between uh, install rafters and install sheeting. Okay. 
So now what this figure indicate to us that uh, install after this is the uh, like right, uh, critical activity, okay, um, for five days and then install uh, sheathing uh, uh, from three to six days, uh, three to six days. Uh, so three days duration then install felt uh, is uh, two days uh, duration. Uh, so uh, that were two days duration and then, uh, um, Install shingles uh, so five days duration. So see these activities in reality they look like this. So, you know they are all interdependent and all critical activities uh, so with the combination relationship. Okay, so combination is uh, so that we have used a star to uh, star to start relationship or finish to finish relationship. Okay. So with this uh, we move forward to the next slide. So you have learned that how we are going to calculate the product duration and their critical path. Okay. So critical path means that there is total force at zero, like zero minus zero, five minus five, three minus three, six minus six, five minus five, late start minus early start. Okay, late start minus early start, or late finish minus early finish, seven minus seven. So it's uh, for install single six minus six, uh, and then also again 11 minus 11 okay so we got the uh, total float zero so we know what activities all have the total float and they are on a critical path so all activities are critical again this uh, this is possible that uh, all activities are uh, critical so certainly you need to pay attention to finish this uh, this <coughs> So it's uh, what was uh, you know what we discussed. Uh, oh my God! All the activities. We have done this one. Okay, so, and then we have covered covered this this one. Okay, so we finish this one. Okay, let's move from here to the next uh, slide is uh, this overlapping activities, okay? Overlapping activities. Uh, uh, so um, this we have, um, you know, we explained a little bit before about the uh, overlapping activities. In most cases, uh, the important issue is to make sure, uh, make sure the successor stays ahead of the predecessor. Successor should be, remain successor, okay? Ahead of the predecessor at all times by a certain margin. Okay, this is like um, overlapping activities uh, work, must go this way, you know, like we have um, seen before, there is, we have to excavate the uh, pipe. So there should be first excavation, then putting the sand bed and then um, putting the pipe inside uh, and then doing the backfilling and compaction. Okay, so uh, uh, overlapping activities, uh, uh, the successor activity should remain successor. Okay? If things in life go as planned, a start to start or finish to finish relationship plus a lag take care of this point. But uh, since things uh, do not usually go as planned, then there is something is going to happen. You know? So then what is going to happen? We can assign combination start to start and finish to finish relationship with lags and uh, uh, correct as you update. Okay, so we will, we will put the start to start and finish to finish the both relationship uh, with lags also. And um, if there is uh, something wrong, we can uh, make correct uh, when we update our uh, schedule. Okay, use dynamic uh, minimum lag. Okay, DML dynamic uh, minimum lag relationship. DML. So we will study this uh, later in the next uh, uh, chapters. But here is a simple thing uh, to uh, clarify what is a uh, dynamic minimum lag is a new logic relationship that maintains a minimum lag between the successor and its predecessor. That maintains a minimum lag between its successor and its uh, predecessor. During the entire duration of the uh, of the two activities, during the entire duration of the two activities. Okay, so when we have these overlapping activities, uh, like uh, success activity should remain successor. Okay, 
and then the predecessor will put some uh, lag, you know, that successor activities will be you know, always successor. Okay. So now in this, uh, we are going to start with interruptible activities. Uh, I think uh, we, we should stop here. Uh, next time we will, uh, we will start uh, from here, uh, uh, what is meaning by uh, interruptible activities. Okay. Uh, so we can cover uh, uh, interruptible activities uh, uh, next time um, in the next lecture because it's already uh, one hour. So uh, inshallah, when we will cover uh, the whole. Uh, um, so in the next lecture, we will start from this point uh, to introducing about the interruptible activities. With this, uh, uh, I thank you for your uh, cooperation. Then, inshallah, we will, in the next lecture, we will complete this uh, chapter. So, it's uh, uh, before finishing. Uh, so, let me make uh, dua for uh, a majlis. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiruhu wa natubu alayk. Thank you very much for your attention. Inshallah, talk to you later. Okay. So, this uh, we will cover. Uh, on the last uh, slide is uh, uh, it's, uh, the, the finishing slide is uh, uh, the, this one. Okay, so this uh, we we close for today's lecture. Okay, uh, by praying to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala um, that kafara uh, majlis Subhanak Allah Mu Abdika Na Shuru Allah Ila Ila Anta so thank you for your cooperation inshallah next time i will uh, explain the interruptible activities and we will solve uh, uh, numerical problems uh, both with the uh, contiguous and with the interruptible activities so that things should become clear to you in the next lecture uh, or the precedence diagram uh, differ uh, in the contiguous activities or in the interruptible activities okay so the next lecture will be very important to under, understand, you know, because uh, you will see that uh, there will be, you know, for some activities you will find that only the starting point is critical, or for some another activity there is only the finish point is crit critical, or uh, for some whole activity is critical. Okay? So interruptible activities, uh, it's very usually all uh, interruptible activities whenever we work with the interruptible activities. So uh, with the interruptible activities, uh, we can uh, complete the project with less time. Okay? Contiguous, uh, um, today we have covered the contiguous part. So uh, contiguous, uh, uh, they take more time. Okay? But if we follow the interruptible activities, we can finish the project with uh, less time. Okay? And that we will explain in the next lecture, inshallah, uh, uh, the second part of this uh, presentation. Okay. So thank you very much. Uh, talk to you later. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.